Listen, you, you motherfuckers owe me.
We need to focus on the solution to the problems. Instead, we drown in and force others to wallow in them. We need to focus on the solution. And there's only one under the sun as far as I can see. Love. Love breathes life into other qualities. Generosity, compassion, empathy. We need to focus on the solution. With love, you can take any issue and find the solution. The biggest problem is that as humans, as a society, we don't love each other. If we did, we wouldn't be wallowing and drowning and waiting for someone to come with a life preserver to pull the weight of us up. The weight on the life preserver is sinking. There's all, all of society down into the depths of despair. Love breeds life. We need to find our focus in love. Love can be our solution. If we did, we could live in a world free of the pain that has become synonymous with the human experience. We need to understand. We need to understand that in this society, there is no longer good or bad. There is no black or white. Life is gray. We need to understand that justice has become opinionated. We need to understand that in order to seek peace and justice that we are working for, that we are fighting for, screaming for, reaching for, and running for, we need to look within ourselves. We need to no longer discriminate against one another because we are all human. We are all one race. There is no need to force those who are different to be a part of the society that is tearing itself apart. We need to open our hearts and spread love, not hate. We've been blinded by our own hatred and insecurities that we can no longer call ourselves united. We need to become united again. Those who are fighting for the BLM, the TLM, all the life matter, all of those fights, all of those protests are all fighting for the same thing. They're fighting to save the lives of loved ones, families, and friends. And we are tired of watching our loved ones die for what they believe is right. We must open our eyes and hearts to the truth we all beat the same beat. We all want what is good for those we love. We need to understand. internal struggle brewing inside of us but most of us are really good at disguising it it's almost as if we've become numb to this struggle making it a part of our everyday lives people may ask us if we're okay and we just lie and say we're fine or we're just tired but in reality we are struggling 
for a multitude of reasons. We're struggling to get out of bed in the morning, no motivation, no willpower, and not feeling good enough no matter how hard we try. Society struggles to talk about mental issues. We need to bring up the conversation surrounding mental health. Our minds can be a beautiful place, but can also be the thing that holds us back. We all struggle in some way or another. We need to start checking in with ourselves and others. You never know what someone is really going through. These are uncertain times. This pandemic has turned our world upside down. It's only natural that when being forced to stay in our houses for months on end, that it is going to take a toll on our mental well-being. It can be hard to focus or to have motivation to keep moving forward. We can all come together as human beings and support one another. If we all band together and check in with each other, we will come out of this pandemic stronger. Each one of us has the power to choose whether or not we are going to let our mental state get the best of us or to rise above it. We will make it through this together. We need a break from the constant pressure that fills our head each day. The pressure of a never-ending performance that can't be stopped. A pressure that tells us the more we do, the better we must be. We are in a society where enough is never enough. We are pushed and forced to do more and more. We fear the feeling of guilt if we do not achieve. Constant pressure cannot keep building. It eventually must be released. We need to slow down, take a deep breath, and realize when enough is enough. We have turned quality into quantity and lost appreciation for any true, honest meaning. It has slowly taken over our lives as we have fallen for its trap. We must grow from this hard lesson learned we must remind ourselves of quality. We must remind ourselves that we need to slow down. Take a deep breath and realize when enough is enough. We can then begin to ask ourselves, what is enough? And when is enough? Once we realize, we can let it go. Be released from its tight hold. Begin to feel guilt-free. And begin to appreciate. We have been told to constantly be productive, to be more, and to be better. We just have to accept ourselves and realize that we don't always need to be productive or to always want more or to be better. We just need a break and begin to appreciate.
We share culture. Cultura. We are buenos trabajadores. Hard workers. We are an essential part of the American economic growth. We want the same oportunidades as others. Same opportunities. We're not all criminals. No somos criminales. We've been hurt, heridos. Our rights had been violated. Our families separated. We've been enjaulados. We've been caged. Valoranos. Value us. We're not trying to take, but add. Both cultures can benefit if we both work together, living together. Vivamos unidos, human beings united. Seres humanos unidos. Estados Unidos unidos. What if each and every person's life was special, unique? What if we embrace the things that make us happy, allowing ourselves to wake up each morning with a purpose that was solely, undeniably, and unapologetically ours? Your life is yours, no one else's. Yet, we all live trapped in the same path of life. Our passions neglected and forgotten, we have become addicted to a fast-paced lifestyle where we compete against each other in a materialistic race for wealth, success, and power. And that is what we hope will reward us with happiness. We let other people control us, tell us what we can or can't do. We chase lives that aren't ours, success that isn't ours, passions that aren't ours, and we set ourselves up for disappointment. But, each person's life is special. We are unique. And ultimately, your life is most definitely yours. No one else's. There is no blueprint, no predetermined timeline, no study guide that can tell us what living is supposed to be like. We get to decide how the story of our lives play out. We decide what makes us happy and what gives us purpose. Why else would they say that life is beautiful?
was in awe. I knew what I must do. Love you unconditionally. Be there for you. Stand up for you. Come to your rescue. Pick you up if you fall. Guide you through the tough times. Always show you love. There are so many challenges these days. History has not been kind to us, and now there are even more problems. I will have to teach you that you will be judged because of the color of your skin. Drive 10 and 2, and if you're pulled over, don't move your hand from the wheel. If you are in the store, don't worry if someone who works there is following you. Always have an ID on you. Don't play your music too loud. You will be judged because of the color of your skin. And even though love is love, people may treat you differently for who you choose to love. There are so many lessons I will have to teach you about being a man, about being black. I wish I didn't have to. I wish that the world was better. Just know you are loved and I will always be on your side. We as a community need to be better. Do better. But until that day, well, I just want I just want to Black 
I'm going please crazy. Help. Loneliness. But not the type of crazy that leads to physical injury. I am going crazy. I am going crazy. But not the type of crazy that leads to physical injury. But the type of boils and builds inside until there is nothing left. But the black hole is tired. I am going crazy. I am not alone. Ugliness. You are not alone. Not the type of crazy that leads to physical destruction. But this will pass. The type that spoils. But not the type of crazy. They told me it couldn't be the type of crazy. Not the type of crazy destruction that leads to physical. To the type that boils and the boils to the type that boils inside and builds inside until there is nothing left. But a black hole until there is nothing left. But a black hole emptiness. The hate, the type that boils and builds the black hole until there is nothing left. But a black hole, 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 but
even though it may not seem like they do. Those moments where someone caresses your face. The moments where you laugh so hard that you have to cry. Your stomach hurts because you can't stop. A sigh of relief when it's all over. The peace of the morning right before the day starts. When you hear the innocent giggle of a child. This will pass.
I'll see you when I come 